Um, Selenagi. Selenagi means to carry. Selenagi means to carry over the back. Okay, that's necessarily means shoulder. A lot of people we call it shoulder because it's easiest to say. Selenagi means to carry over the back throat. And there are three primary styles. Okay, and we work a lot on Ipon Selenagi. So, if, basic Ipon Selenagi is there. It comes in and it's like this. Morote. There, there are two other styles. Morote, where it coming in this way. Okay, and you can see kind of turn around face with it. Uh, yeah, and so she'll come in, and that's that's the morote like that, the morote soyanagi. And the eri, the lapel, E-R-I, eri, is off the, he's going to come in, it's kind of a two-on-one. So he's got this, and it's a very powerful one, and he'll swing in, and that's the eri style, okay? And these are the basic variations of it. So we're going to work tonight on the morote, both hand, carry over the back, both hand shoulder throw, and the eri, lapel, shoulder throw or carry with the back throw. So let's look at Morote first. Uh, there are a couple of basic ways to do even that, okay? Um, Derek has a preference where he likes to put his elbow under deeply under the armpit, and that works really well for him. You can see that. We have another guy in our club, Warren Frank, used that same style too. You see a lot of the very good Japanese technicians that get so low under, and they do that. But there's another style where you kind of curl, and uh, that's what Donnie Hinchcliffe was talking about the other day. We were working on a little bit this where you just, just curl your arm under slightly, you don't jam it, it's curled there, okay? And that's if a guy's got a pretty tight gi, pretty tight lapel, it's hard to lip, you know, whip it up, okay? And he would come in and just spit in, and just right there in front of the chest and throw. It's a matter of personal preference or style. You know, either way are good. They, they both work really well. It's just what you like to do. So experiment with them tonight and see what you think. But let's look at the way he likes to do it, which is more now. One thing, uh, standard, uh, he's going to get a little longer grip. And the reason is, he wants to open his opponent up. And we want a nice long grip here, so he's got to have a lot of space right in here. Another thing might help, if you have this gi, if you kind of open it up a little bit, get nice and floppy, okay? Where you got some space, because you want to, want to have them open. And you, you may see a Serenagi type guy, he'll be doing this a little bit on you, and think, uh-oh, here comes the morote, okay? So, you may see that. So, what he's got, he's got a fairly low grip. Now, you could grab up here high, too, as you're standing, that's, that's, you know, pull up like that. But in any event, he wants to pop him where he opens him up, so there's a lot of hole here. Because what he's going to do, he's going to slide his arm right under there, and he's going to spin in and finish it, okay? All right, just kind of come in nice, nice and smooth, you know. So watch, I, so I won't interrupt him, so he just comes right in. Boom. Now, how you stand under him, totally up to you. I'm a big tall guy, so when I come in, if I were to do this, I'm not a Morote guy, but if I were, my body would be more like this, turning, okay? And to throw him over my hips, okay? Can you replicate that? That's one way of turning the body, okay? See that way? That's a very good standard way of doing it. Another way that the Japanese use a lot, and they're very good at this, by the way, is what Derek has been doing here, where it's kind of a low, kind of a squatting almost. Okay, so he comes under him, and when he, see that? And watch, he just, boom, lifts him up and over. That's where you literally are carrying him over your back. And that's where this, this throw gets its name from that movement right there. Okay, so that's two ways to do it. So we had two ways to do the grip, which is a, open up the elbow, underneath the elbow, or curl it in, okay? We had two ways, pr basic ways, and we're talking, there are a lot of variations, don't get me wrong, but basic way of coming in where Derek was coming in very low, very low squatting type style, or the other one was more of a turning, rotational style, okay? One more of each, and do do the rotational style first. That's, more. That's and it, it works very good. You know, um, I've seen a lot of good tall guys with stand-up so nice. You don't have to be tall, but it could be just a preference. The other one is a lower squatting style where you're almost really dipping under them. Like that. Very good. Now that's the Morote style. The only difference here now, when we go to Eri, E-R-I, Eri, so nice, lapel, is instead of grabbing this lapel, he's grabbing his right hand on the right lapel. And when he does this, he curls under and does the same throw, really. It's just a variation of how you grab the lapels. Morote means both hands. Morote, double hand, okay? Both hands. Eri just is lapel, it signifies a two on one. That's the only difference. 
So when you get the standard three styles of Sainagi, you go to Ipon Sainagi, you know, like this. There you go, standard Ipon Sainagi. Morote Sainagi, both hands, that's one arm Sainagi. Okay, and the other one is Airy Lapel. Okay. Let's have one more thing to add. Now, the only thing I would say when you're doing Morote, don't bend your wrist. You want to curl it, okay? You want to curl. So as you're doing, even if you're doing the one like this one, you'll get really, it'll hurt, and you won't have much power. So when you do this, curl it in and sit in like that, rather than bend the wrist. And that's a bad habit. A lot of guys like to do that because it kind of looks cool, but it, it really hurts the wrist. And I would say Morote, that really also causes good old Sayo Nagi elbow. Yeah. I've known some really good Sayo Nagi guys in my career through the years. And one guy I used to train with all the time, he was a lefty. And he ended up with a really bum, kind of like tennis elbow, because he did so much Morote Sayo Nagi, and he was really good at it too. But he ended up, he said he just couldn't, couldn't use his elbow for you know, anything much because he had basically tennis elbow with a Morote. And so you, that's the... You part. get around that all in or all out just like steve was saying you either curl your wrist in to pr protect the the torsion as you're coming in or you jam the elbow all the way through so that he's on your forearm as you you come through and use your, your legs okay. either way you're not coming through you know like that yeah right? you don't want to bend the wrist right because now it, the, all the force is on my wrist that's how i jack up my elbow okay so Jam through. Cool. See, I always, it's like I'm, I'm holding a, a waiter's tray right there. And then everything else becomes your legs, which is what Sayonagi is mostly about. Now, we could do this as a knee drop as well. Knee drop Sayonagi. But I'll show you another one. Warren Frank did this, one of our guys. He was a silver medalist in the World Sambos many years ago. Heck of a judo player, too. He was kind of a tall, lean guy for his body weight. He fought at middle weights, 172, you know, thereabouts. But he fought a lot of tall guys, too. So get your legs kind of wide, be kind of bent over. Now, Derek is Morote, get, get a Morote grip. And what, what Derek wants to do now, what, and believe me, this, we didn't invent this. This is just good old standard Japanese judo. He would literally hop under the guy, squat under him, and like that, okay? <laughs> you know, but actually, come on out so you can do it. I had to stop him there. But now watch, when he hops under him, through that nice big hole there, watch what he does going like that okay now you can do both knees like he did or you come up really low in a squat and like that try that one this time it almost looks like he's dropping on his knees but he's not he's squatting he's ass deep. to heels yeah ass to heels that's right and that's that's what you see a lot of the japanese do especially the lightweights that was their style of sonagi and they were dynamite with it. they still are it's a great great technique so if you want to do that you can do that as well that that squatting that very low squat Did everybody see that we good okay let's work a lot on that tonight because it's a great series of throws let's do the morote and the airy style so okay good deal